uh, there's always a delay when my, I think I've mentioned this before, there's always seems to be a delay when my um, camera starts and when I think it's starting. So anyway, um, apologies for the wet dog look. My hair is wet. I actually only have like 45 minutes before I leave for the airport to go to New Orleans. Um, so sorry for this. But um, also, I feel like I'm really washed out. Let's move you guys back. Let's try to do it a little bit more gracefully. I'm kind of sitting in front of the window. So anyway, so um, this is my um, four year and almost two month post-op um, video. This video is not about weight loss per se. Um, this is just a quick, super quick, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, update about dry January. So a couple of things to be completely truthful about. Um, today is day 30 of dry, my dry January is I've been using that, but really it was just a 30 day no alcohol challenge. I didn't actually start until January 2nd. So today at, at the end of the day will be the end of the 30 days. I probably can't, I, I don't think I'll drink tomorrow because um, there's not much going on. I have to work and Tanya has to work and, um, you know, we'll just kind of be running errands and stuff. So, um, you know, unless we just go out for a glass of wine and then I can just kind of ease into it, we'll see. But, um, so a couple things I learned during this. First of all, I guess, <sighs> I'll start with the stats. So even though this isn't necessarily about weight loss and I did not do this for weight loss purposes, um, I'm going to start, I'm going to start there. So my highest recorded weight was 319. Um, my weight at the start of the two week pre-op diet, which was just before Thanksgiving, 2013 was 291 point something. <laughs> That's not true. 301.2. My day of surgery was 291.8. Um, my lowest weight was 181.2. I remember that very well. <laughs> um, my highest regain weight is pretty much where I'm at right now, which is 135.4. I weighed in January 2nd at 135.8. So I have lost 0.4 pounds this month. If you count that, I don't. <laughs> um, but uh, here, here is, is the success of, of this month. Um, some days were harder than others. I do not want to sound like any of this was easy for me because it wasn't. Other than six weeks that I went from, in, in, in 2016, I went from January to about Valentine's Day, so six or seven weeks without alcohol. And in... 2017, I went 19 days. Those, this month, January of 2018, these 30 days has been the longest I've gone without alcohol other than those two times. So, um, I would say my longest, I would say the average time frame would be two to three days. The longest throughout the rest of this last year was four. Um, other than that initial 19 days. So I think 30 days is a huge accomplishment. I've learned a lot. Um, I One of my biggest insecurities about not drinking was that I would not have any fun and I would not be any fun. And I I am, am tickled pink to find out that I am actually very funny. <laughs> See? I am making me laugh. <laughs> no, um, I, I don't... <laughs> I really don't mean that the way it sounds. I just, um, I, I felt like I was sharper. I was able to qu come back with quips a little bit faster. Um, I wasn't as slow on the uptake when it comes to like a little bit of sarcasm. Um, so I, I feel like I made people laugh a lot this month. And I, I think that the people that I spent time with, like had fun with me, even though I wasn't drinking and everybody, I didn't express this insecurity to a lot of people, but of the few people that I did express this insecurity to about not being fun and not being boring were just like, I mean, even my therapist who doesn't know me outside of that one hour a week was like, have you met yourself? And I was like, really? Cool. Um, like I went to a house party and, you know, 
People were pretty cool about me not drinking. I laughed really hard at a fun time. I went karaoke. Um, on sorry, my neck is killing me. I went karaoke this last weekend with my dad, and I didn't sing or anything, but I didn't really intend to. But I, I danced along, and I sang along, and I had fun, and I laughed, and I engaged, and I drank, like, six sodas and juice. <laughs> so, um, you know, that, I mean, I had people over. I went to the movies. I I really kind of stayed home a lot this month. I, I've been cleaning out the house, and I, I haven't gotten as far as I thought I would, but um, I've also been going through my movies and watching movies and just kind of, like, refreshing a little bit. Um, so... My, in fact, my husband and I were at the karaoke with my dad and I said something to him about being boring and being fun. And he goes, are you kidding me? You're better than ever. And I was like, okay, I need to remember that, that I can't, I don't have to use alcohol as a crutch to get through a social situation or to be clever or to be funny or to have a good time. Um, sometimes it does make it easier. Um, Yeah. <laughs> so what, what's next? Obviously I'm walking into New Orleans weekend with, um, Tanya and her family and Lauren and Phil. So <laughs> I just have to be very cautious because last year when I went to Vegas after 19 days of not drinking, it was, I was, I was, a I was, I was a mess and I was with my husband. So like, at least he took care of me and I totally trust my friends would take care of me too. But like, I, I really don't want to impinge on their time and their vacation by being a sloppy mess. Fingers crossed that I'm not a sloppy mess. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be that way. So um, I'm hoping I can just kind of ease into it and kind of just write it out and not be like an asshole. <laughs> Basically. Um, when I get back, um, I really need to start cleaning up my diet a little bit. And I don't want to diet. Um, I've learned a lot in the last six months about getting out of the diet mentality, about not being on a diet, about body positivity, body acceptance. I I still struggle with being like, I feel like everyone should accept their body as it is and also still struggling with not being happy with mine. Like, it's kind of a conundrum. But um I was a little surprised that I didn't lose weight this week or this month, but I also have been eating a lot more carbs and a lot less protein than I should be based on being a weight loss surgery person and just based on my overall general lifestyle diet goals. Like how I generally eat is a lot of whole foods. Um, I usually don't eat a lot of fruit, but um, a lot more vegetables and protein than I have been. So... I'm, I'm not really making a plan to diet when I get home, but I am definitely going to be incorporating a, a, at least one protein shake in the morning. I tend to have kind of a bigger breakfast, and I'm not usually very hungry in the morning, so I don't really need that. So I'm going to go back to having a protein shake in the morning, so then I can have lunch at like a reasonable time around, you know, noon, one o'clock, instead of having a breakfast at like 9.30 and then not being hungry until like 2. And that kind of messes me all up because then I don't want to eat too late for dinner. So that'll put me in a little bit better of like a normal hunger um, schedule, I guess, because I'm trying to eat more when I'm hungry and less when it's and, – and not so much when it's time. But it gets to be challenging sometimes when I'm – I don't know. So I'm going to have a lighter breakfast – you know, have a little bit, um, have kind of any carbs like that I might have like a half a sandwich or sweet potato or regular potato or whatever, rice, quinoa at lunch. And then I'll just have kind of like meat and produce kind of and fat at dinner. Um, and I'm just more of a paleo, I just, I'm more of a paleo eater in general. So it's, I'm not going keto. I'm, I, I know people who do that as a lifestyle. I totally love and respect that. I enjoy those foods. Um, I just, I do like to have healthy carbs in my diet. So, you know, even though quinoa and rice aren't necessarily paleo, there's room for that in my, in my like world view of my own personal health diet lifestyle. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do and try to, try to get, get some weight off because 
my body hurts, you guys, and it's time. I'm I feel uncomfortable in my skin. I mean, I have for a while. I think I I I was maintaining around the two low two twenties most of last year, and then something happened in like late September, and I I gained like ten pounds, and I I've been maintaining that since September. So I don't really know what the difference was, um, other than maybe I was drinking more around that time. So it could have just been that, but I haven't, you know, cutting out 600 to 1,000 calories in alcohol a day has not let me to lose weight, which is strange to me. <laughs> but again, I've been eating more processed foods and more processed carbs like bread and bagels and, you know, whatever. So, um, and I allowed myself this month to do that. I'm not making an excuse for that. It is what it is. But it's time to eat more fuel and less shit. <laughs> I also have a workout plan. So I come back on Tuesday night, um, probably just do some gentle stretching and yoga for the rest of next week, um, just to get, you know, when you're traveling, your body kind of, my body already feels pretty bad. So, oops, sorry guys. Um, my neck and back are really hurting right now. So I'm just going to be real gentle after traveling and sleeping in not your own bed and all of that stuff. Um, I'll just do some stretching and yoga and restorative yoga. And then starting Monday, I have, let's see if you guys can see it above the TV. I have my workout schedules. I've got, this is, this right here is a 21 day fix and this is T25. Um, the 21 day fix is actually 21 day fix extreme. And the part of the extreme part is actually just the diet. Um, the workouts themselves aren't all that different, I don't think. And I can modify those too, but, but that'll help me with some gaining of, um, lean muscle mass. Um, and the T25 is all cardio so I can get my heart. And, and they're both like, I'm going to do the, 21 day fix in the morning. I think it's 25, 30 minutes. T25 is 25 minutes. I'm going to do that mid morning after breakfast. Um, I'm going to try to cut down. I, you know, I kind of made a joke on Instagram yesterday that I've been training for this coffee for, for my, to be my best coffee addict because I'm heading into New Orleans and, um, my husband bought me some Cafe Du Monde, uh, coffee for Christmas and we drank it pretty quickly. And so I can't wait to have some of that. And I'm like, I know that she's got a Keurig and I know that when I go to Lauren's house and I'm working, me and the Keurig, we're like this, like, like, like this, like we're, we're tight. So, but when I get back, I'm going to try to cut down to just like two cups a day. Cause I'm right now I'm like three or four cups a day in training for New Orleans. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, so that's that's the not plan. That's just the way I'm, <laughs> I'm going to change things up when I get back and kind of refocus. Again, I would like to lose the weight, but I'm trying not to make it about the weight, if that makes sense, because if I make it about the weight, then I get really hung up on the scale. I get really obsessive. I can go down the rabbit hole. And I'm trying just to make it to be like, you're going to feel better. You're going to have more energy. Your body's going to be less hindered. I'm back on blood pressure meds, you guys. Like I went to the doctor six, four, six weeks, four weeks, six weeks ago. And they were like, you're a walking stroke. And I'm like, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was bad, bad enough for them to tell me they were putting me on hydrochlorothiazide and then actually did a bait and switch and prescribed me something different. And I didn't know until a month later, like three or four weeks later when I went in, my blood pressure stabilized, which is good, but I don't want to be on blood pressure meds. I was on blood pressure meds since I was like 24 years old. I was on them until about eight months post six, six or eight months post op. I don't want to be on them. So, um, that's a big motivator for me. That's, that was a real, like, what the fuck wake up call, not just the size of my pants. I was also motivated again. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. You obviously should if you don't. Um, but I went through all of my clothes. I have a lot, a lot of clothes, a lot, a lot, a lot. <sighs> so, you know, I have everything from a 12 pair to a medium shirt and medium shirts to like an XL one X, um, 14, 16, which is where I'm at now. And even then, like just the way my body is composed right now, like that, I haven't really worked out. Like, I don't like the way any of that fits, even though it fits fine, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like the way it hangs on my person. So, um, yeah, I'm just adjusting. Pardon me. Speaking of which I'm in my travel outfit. Lauren will see this later and she'll be like, that's Lindsay's travel outfit. It's, it's a fact. I'm also wearing my friendship necklace, but I, I'm really washed out in this video. I'm sorry. I'm like, the room is purple. And then there's just like this white face, but sometimes it, um, gets better. Anyway, I'm in 15 minutes. So much for being short. Ugh. 
I hope all of that made sense. I felt like I had a lot to say, but I wasn't sure how to say it. It was a, it was overall, you guys, it was a really good month. I'm really proud of myself. Um, I am concerned about reintroducing alcohol and what that's going to look like and trying to set some very clear boundaries for me about not drinking alone and not drinking at the house, you know, not drinking during the week. I mean, I don't really know if I, rules is the right word because then, you know, but it's good to know that I can go out to a bar and have a meal or hang out with people and not have to drink. Because once I start drinking, I really don't know how to just have one. And so I think it has to be kind of an all or, it has to be kind of an all or nothing thing. So it's either like I'm going to drink today or I'm not going to drink today. And I need to have those drinking times be more spread out and not every day. Um, so that's where I'm at. I learned a lot. It was good. I'm glad I did it. I might do it again. I, I probably will do it again. Not February though. <laughs> okay, kids. Um, I hope you guys um have a good rest of your week. Keep it fly out there. And I will talk to you via Instagram over the weekend. I feel positive. So bye.